It's Vader time! You want to know what kind of a man Vader is? A bad, bad man. He wants to rip off Mick Foley's ear. I think that's not necessarily a bad fate, considering I sit next to Saxton every week. Well, hey, I heard that. He fears no man. He feels no pain. Check your watches, because it's time. It's time. It's Vader time. There are few walking the earth as utterly ruthless as the Mastodon. Makes Vader tough to contend with. And gentlemen, we are mere moments away from Vader time. Six foot four, over 550 pounds. What makes Yokozuna so scary is his ability to use his massive frame or surprising agility to earn the win in any situation. Well, that ability, Corey, has earned Yokozuna victories over all-time greats like Bret the Hitman Hart, the immortal Hulk Hogan, and The Undertaker. I think the ring just buckled. Well, unfortunately for his opponent, all of Yokozuna's weight and power is about to be focused on them. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition.
They call Vader the Mastodon because when he gets in the ring, he battles with the fury and strength of a prehistoric beast. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Vader is in a class all his own. There's a savagery to his attacks, an unrelenting bloodlust that makes him unlike any other superstar we've ever seen. Vader isn't just out to beat you, he wants to destroy you. That's why only a select few have ever been able to truly stop Vader. But across the ring is a practically unstoppable behemoth, Yokozuna, an imposing competitor who uses his nearly 600-pound frame to simply steamroll his opponents. This once-in-a-lifetime monster has proven to be much more than most men can handle. I mean, just look at him. It's easy to see why some people... Has the challenger pinned? Is this it? He thought he had it. to see that the challenger's looking shaken and yokozuna giving as good as he could possibly get there whatever's playing here can't be good uh -oh. no! imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that Two. setting foot in the ring now Yokozuna is just begging for a fight. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Like a brick wall running into you. He gets back into the ring. And Yokozuna didn't see that coming. Caught with a clothesline. Yokozuna, obviously a champion in his heyday, but what does it take for him to win in today's WWE? Oddly enough, Yoko is way ahead of the curve. He has the agility a lot of big men today have to work to attain. And he's got that old school adaptability to absorb and inflict punishment. His game is truly timeless. He just has to keep it simple and stick to it. And Vader keeping up the mental pressure to match his physical presence. Uh, headbutt by the big man. Yokozuna has him where he wants him. This is not going to be pretty. Dragging his opponent to the corner, taking his time up to the second rope and the bullseye drop. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Cover. Kick out. Still has hope. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. And absolutely no idea how that didn't work out in Yokozuna's favor. You can tell he's shocked, too. There he goes, right into the corner. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. And Vader is being taken apart here. Timeless offense on display from the Hall of Famer Yokozuna, using a mix of power and agility to inflict serious punishment. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Hard-hitting damage coming from Vader. Gentlemen, I feel like this match will be over in about five seconds. I think you're right, Corey. Vader, ready to go airborne. Gets the knees up. Incredible wherewithal. An agile escape. Goodness. All of their mass being used. Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Rinse in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. He turns it around. Vader stepping up to the top. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. From the top. What? Sean, absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Oh, Yokozuna counters. Two. Comes back into the ring. Uh-oh. 
Yokozuna only gets that look when he's about to attack or eat. Oh, what a counter. But Yokozuna still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Oh, that got turned around on Yokozuna. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Uh-oh, headbutt. Nothing fancy there. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Yoko says this one's over. Bonsai drop. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Two count. Not only did Yokozuna pick up the win, he also retained possession of his title. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Yokozuna. There he is, the champion standing tall. After this defense, he's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.